my dad put me on a bus from San Salvador to the United States. I was a 16 year old child, but it was a civil war and I think my dad put me on that bus because he believed that I would have a better life. I was 18 years old when I knew the word gay. I started in a newspaper. For a little while, I thought that was me. I was just a gay boy. People were like, you are so gay. I'm like, yes, I'm super gay. But eventually, in 1995, I met this transgender woman, and she had already transitioned her body, and I said, well, wait a minute, I'm not gay. Growing up in Washington, D.C., I transitioned into poverty because society was not ready to give me a job, treat me with respect, value me as a human being. But I also transitioned into happiness and I started celebrating my difference. I'm transgender, I'm not like anybody else, I'm me. So as a result of years of neglect, I had one of the worst incidents. This guy got obsessed with me. He felt that I was crazy. How could I turn him down? And one day he came to my house and he tried to kill me. He raped me, he beat me, he left me for dead. And as a result of that, I went into a very dark moment in my life. I became homeless. After I survived this particular incident, I felt like I had an opportunity to do something bigger. Casa Ruby is a nonprofit organization that focuses on addressing the needs of the most vulnerable. It's a place where um, I want people to know that they're loved. That is the one thing that in this family, we may not have material things sometimes, but there's always plenty of love for, uh, for everyone to have. We're moving on to the next step, providing housing. We went shopping for sheets for our beds. Um, I remember when I was homeless, that was the only moment that I had to myself because I had to get out into the world. And I wanted to make sure that as we opened new, this home, that bed was an important piece of our house, of our home. And I wanted to buy uh, sheets that reflect the rainbow of all of the differences that people bring. It's been hard, still hard, still hard because when I walk outside of these doors, I'm still transgender. And when someone knows that, then all of a sudden I stop being this wonderful person and I'm just someone who they deem undesirable. People sometimes say to me, you do so much and in essence, I do. I, I work very hard, 15 hour days, 6 days a week. But what they don't realize is how much they do for me. Because there was a time I had nothing to do. There was a time I was depressed in a bed, not wanting to get up and face the world. Every day I come to Casa Ruby since I open it, I don't want to be nowhere else but here.